All right, so this is an odd problem. So it's asking you, it has, you know, this whole capacitor with this metal plate in it, right? And it's asking you for the entire capacitance. So first we look at, you don't see a capacitor, but what it actually means is that there's a capacitor basically here and here, and they have this distance, which you can figure out this distance by taking D minus A and dividing it by two. So this whole thing, take out the middle and you get the two white parts and then two, divide by two and you get the distance of each of those. So that's what I'm gonna call our new little distance. So this is basically one capacitor here and one capacitor here. So they're separated by this, but that's basically a capacitor in a series. So pretend they're like on a wire right there. So that's what we're gonna look at. And capacitance in a series has this type of equation. So it's asking for the capacitance here. It's basically just wanting to find this C. And we have these little ones, basically. But these are actually the same because there's nothing different about them. So C1 equals C2, which means you can rewrite this like that. So C equals one half of C1. So that's not the end of that problem. That's just going to give us our relation between them. So what we need is this equation, C equals our nice constant. And we have our, so this is just for a general capacitor, right? So if there wasn't all of this, this is what it is. But we have this distance, so we're going to say that's C1 equals E O over A and replace our distance with this new, and let's say one half. So that's what C1 is, but C is actually one half of that. C equals half of this. Then one has cancel out and C equals EOA over D minus A. And that is your answer for this first part. What is the capacitance of this arrangement? Is this. So the next part is asking express to express it as um, a function of C naught which is when the metal sub is not there. So C naught is actually just this right here, because that is the general equation for a capacitor without any sort of metal slab. So that's what C naught is, and it wants you to express this C in terms of this. So we're gonna start off by taking our EO with A times D minus A, so we found for C, we're gonna multiply it by D, D over D, and this is gonna get us to equal EO times A over D, times d over d minus a. So what you can see is that this is actually the same as this. So we can put them in terms of each other, which is gonna give us the ability to say that this. And that's c. So this is your second part. c equals co times d minus a. All it wants is you to get c in terms of co, and that's the whole thing. Now the very last part is what happens to capacitance as A approaches 0 and as A approaches D. For this part, we're going to go ahead and look at this equation that we just found. So as A approaches 0, what's going to happen is basically this, is, this bottom part is just going to become D over D, which is 1. So C is just going to become C0 because this whole part that you multiply it just becomes 1. It doesn't make a difference. As A approaches D, this bottom part is going to be d minus d, which is zero. So as the numerator gets smaller, this entire thing is going to go to infinity. So c is going to go to infinity because you're multiplying co times infinity right here. And that's the whole thing.